hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel girl i have been putting out content give me my dues because your girl has really been putting in work so today we're probably gonna be doing something simple because i promised my kids i would take them up to like this little arcade place so gonna do something simple but lord mercier did send me some of their products so of course i've had lord mercier before in the past i don't know why y'all don't want to send me a big one of these but baby i will totally take it off your hands okay y'all send me everything else except for this like i need this in my life the setting powder is amazing so yeah we're gonna be doing like a little bit of reviews they sent me like their primers and stuff like that i already have some of their primers around here somewhere i just I gotta find them in the move they kind of got lost but anyway we're gonna go ahead and get started because i have to go today i gotta be on time i told my kids i did not want to be um at this place longer than like six o'clock so we gotta roll all right i'm gonna use my nyx pencil as always i have laid down some powder already um just to kind of keep my brows from you know being too oily or whatever so i laid down some powder and now i'm just gonna fill them in so i know i can't really do too much talking but i kind of wanted to help you guys because i see in the comments people talking about starting their youtube channels and kind of just not knowing where to start and so probably with like my last three videos they've been doing very well as far as like cpm rpm stuff like that like which is basically your revenue your clicks and stuff like that things have been really doing well so i was like well I have not figured out the formula for YouTube all the way, but the things that I have figured out, I do not mind sharing them. So I'm going to go ahead and share them in today's video. Using some of my Too Faced um, in the shade Chai. Oh my goodness, as much as I like, it pains me to say this. I don't really want to say it, but NARS in comparison to Too Faced, I'm going to go with the Too Faced. And y'all know I love me some NARS um, concealer. Love it. But when I tried it with the other day, I was like, mm, just that Too Faced just has the consistency and the formula that I need. So I will continue to use Too Faced, unfortunately. Well, not really unfortunately, fortunately. Whatever. Um, back to what I was saying. So I know that y'all did not like the video of me uploading where I wasn't talking because the people on my channel my supporters like we've just grown to just talk to each other so when we don't talk it's like what the hell's going on i get it um but i uploaded that because i needed research <laughs> you know i'm a researcher i gotta do a little bit of research so um i wanted to see if the engagement would be higher or lower watch time stuff like that would be lower if i uploaded that video versus one of me talking um i also wanted to check out the revenue and um that was generated from that particular video in comparison to other videos because as much as i get you know i don't like the talking videos you don't have to be here okay the you don't like talking videos but people aren't watching those as much as they're watching the other videos and it could be that you guys are just nosy i don't know i don't know or it could be that we just bond i'm not really sure but my talking videos get a lot more attention than any other video on my channel i said that to say that when you guys start your channel i need you guys to figure out what it is that you want to do are you going to be talking in your videos are you not going to be talking neither one is more right than the other you just have to figure it out know what your audience wants and continue to do that okay so be consistent because the moment that you are not consistent they're gonna be on your ass okay y'all seen the comments on that video what the hell you're not talking to us you know so and you'll you'll start to build a rapport with people making sure that you interact with your your supporters as well um so that's the first thing choosing what type of content you want to make you got to be consistent so are you going to talk to them or are you not going to talk to them and if you are going to talk to them what type of topics not everything has to uh, revolve around your life i just personally find it easier for me to talk about my life because that's what the hell i know you know what i'm saying like i'm not really big on politics and world news and stuff like that i've tried it in the past but it's not for me i want to do something simple today so i'm going to use my jacqueline hill palette i'm probably going to go through with all the three of these browns starting from the lightest shade to the darkest shade okay i don't know if y'all saw that did y'all see that hopefully y'all saw that whatever <laughs> um um so yeah making sure that you figure out what it is that you want to do and i don't care if you have one follower two followers you excuse me you just got to be um consistent with 
what you're posting okay so that's that's the first thing the other thing is with youtube i am starting to see that the more people are engaged which means like that they're clicking on the video but not only are they clicking but they're staying to watch the video the longer the watch time is the higher the revenue is which is amazing right but you don't want to have like i've had our videos so i just uploaded an hour video um but you don't want to have like too long of videos because people adhd start you know kicking in and they they may not be interested unless you just have a topic that you need to get out there then that then by all means you make your hour-long video you know because i've sat through youtube videos not makeup videos but like documentaries and shit i love a good documentary um and i can just sit there as long as you're talking and you know speaking to me in a way that i'll understand i can sit there and watch it so you got to find topics that are going to work and keep people engaged, even if it is for five minutes. If you upload five minutes, then you want to make sure that your your following, your supporters are engaged that full five minutes. So I would suggest thinking about your topics ahead of time, especially if you're not going to be talking about like your life or things that are relative to you. Definitely think about your topics ahead of time so that way you can stay on task and making sure that they interact. Um, and then as far as your thumbnail listen the thing that has helped me and i don't know why is taking pictures with my iphone i'm not sure why youtube loves iphone thumbnails or iphone photos better than they love at anything else i could not tell you but i do know that whenever i post a thumbnail with a clip from the video nobody watches it but the moment that i post like my pictures from my iphone then i get a million and one clicks and it's like what the hell so if you have an iphone if you have a droid i would definitely suggest and it may be like the aspect ratio of the video uh i mean of the photo that makes people want to click on it maybe they can just see better i don't know what it is but maybe try that if you're not getting clicks maybe definitely try using um your either your iphone or your android to take your photos for your thumbnail i'm gonna use a little bit of my elf concealer in the shade fair warm because i want more of a i don't know like precise not really precise because y'all know i don't do precise but like more of a defined cut crease today i am going to tell you guys if you don't pick up anything else try to pick up this light i will definitely try to link this inside of my amazon storefront but this light has come in clutch you just clip it onto your phone and you can take like some really good photos and it helps to kind of enhance the photo so i'll link that i think like i said i think it's like 15 bucks it's not it's not bad but it definitely is amazing okay so definitely look into getting one of those i was like trying to make sure okay um what else the other thing is i know a lot of us put a lot of emphasis on hashtags or tags inside of the um you know how they give you an option to put in tags i know a lot of us put emphasis on that myself included but i'm going to tell you that a lot of your um views are probably not going to come from the tags you'll get a couple but for the most part you are going to get a bulk majority of your views from youtube suggesting your content and i'm going to tell you how to get youtube to suggest your content and broaden your your search and stuff like that so people can find you so yes i'm not going to say don't put tags definitely put tags inside of your videos but i need you guys not to focus 100 percent on tags you want to focus on reach okay your reach should be wider and the way that you do that is to get youtube to suggest your video to more people okay so the way to get youtube to suggest your <coughs> content meaning like your home page you know how when you open up youtube um there are videos that are like on your home page or whatever and that's because youtube feels like it may be a match the way that you do that is um you making sure that you fill out your description. I know it sucks. You don't want to. It's a lot of damn work. That's why I be telling y'all, like, when y'all be asking me to do extra shit, I be like, girl, I am already in the process of doing a lot as it is. I know it don't seem like it, but I am. I'm in the process of doing a lot. So adding that to the list is a lot to me. But you want to make sure that um, in your description, you're putting, like, just a short, you know, I don't know, like a description, basically a short description of what the video is about. Do not, do not, do not, do not try to 
what do you call that? Clickbait folks. Like honestly put what it's about. So that way, whatever's in your description, YouTube can suggest that to people who have an interest in that. And then whenever, the, ugh, I can't talk. Whenever they have an interest in that, they'll stay longer around for the video. If you are trying to clickbait people and they click on it and it's not what they were looking for, then they're going to exit out, which is then again, is going to mess with your RPM, your CPM, which is money. Your money. You don't need nothing messing with your money. So that's why you only need people to be around that are interested in the content. So make sure that in that description box, you are putting things that are relevant to the video. Okay, I have not used this palette in so long, but I kind of want this peachy tone right here on my eyes. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, But yeah, your, um, your goal should not be, oh my goodness, I want all the followers and all this extra stuff because you'll have people come and interact with your video and watch your video to the end and still have not subscribed to your channel. So the goal is not to have a million and one followers. The goal is to get people to engage because girl, that's what get you your money. I don't give a fuck about them goddamn followers long my money right, you know? So you be trying to get you the money out of this unless fame is what you're looking for. See, I think you also have to sit down and think about what is it that I want to get out of this channel? Is it fame? Because I don't really give a damn about the fame. I give a damn about the fortune though. You know what I'm saying? Like I've always, and I've said it in so many videos, that I've always been okay with having a small following. I don't need 101 people following me. I don't need that. But that's my, my, me. That's me, okay? Whatever you want your goal to be is what you want to, your goal to be. But I'm telling you that, yes, your followers and your watch time is what's going to be able to get you in the door to start monetizing your channel. But it is not going to be what keeps that money rolling in, right? So what's going to keep the money rolling in is you need to be able to keep people engaged in whatever way that may be. Keep them engaged in your content. I'm going to use a little bit of black. But I've had people comment and tell me all the time, like, girl, I don't comment, but I'll be watching you every week, you know? So don't get hung up on followers, all my followers are low. None of that shit matters at the end of the day. None of that is going to keep brands from reaching out to you and want to work with you. None of that. It is your engagement. It is the way that you interact with your audience. Please do not become stuck up. Please, okay? Please make sure that you are interacting and telling people thank you. Ain't nothing wrong with you telling somebody, oh my gosh, I can't talk today. There's nothing wrong with you telling people thank you for being supportive of you because they don't have to be here. And when they're not here, your funds is low. I think a lot of time when people become like super duper, I don't know, I won't say like famous or let's just say internet famous. I feel like when they become internet famous, then they tend to forget how they got there or what is funding their lifestyle. Um, and it, it's the people who are engaging in your content that's funding your lifestyle. So don't don't ever get too high on your horse that you forget to interact with them. I want to kind of brighten this up a little bit. So I'm going to use probably this glitter down here at the bottom, that pink one, because I just, I want to add a little bit of razzle dazzle. Yeah, let's use that. I don't know. Let's try it and see. My nails may be too long for this, but we're going to see. I'm just going to add like just a couple dots up in here. Hopefully y'all can see them. I think y'all can. I always use my finger. I don't like to use a brush because I feel like the brush be too precise and I don't like precision. You know, I kind of like to be all over the place in my own little world. So there's that. Y'all see that? Can y'all see? Hopefully y'all can see. I think that's cute though, right? Mm, just give me like a little bit of pop. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so they gave me two primers. They gave me the hydrating primer and the illuminating primer. I think I want to use, girl, let's go with the illuminating primer. Because, I mean, I've already hydrated my face with some cream over here. So, I think I'm good. Um, the other thing that you have to realize if you're going to be a content creator is that not everybody is going to like your shit. And that's okay. It is okay to disagree um, and not be for one another. But for me, what I allow on my channel, oh my gosh, I can't get that. I'm going to have to do this as real ghetto. Hold on. Ugh. Okay. What I allow on my channel is not going to be what you allow on your channel. People can't come over here and talk shit to me. Not on the page that I run. But again, that's the way that I run my page. It doesn't have to be the way that you run your page. If you allow people to talk shit because it generates engagement and then by all means, you do that. Again, you have to sit down and really figure out what are your goals when it comes to running this channel. 
what are you willing to deal with and what are you not? Because there's some people who will sell their soul for views and, and clicks and, you know, all of that. But that's why we see a lot of these influencers who claim they be living this rich and fancy lifestyle and it come out that they really don't be living that life. Although you have a million views and a million followers, it's not equating revenue because you're allowing trolls there and this is not real. So set realistic expectations. I got glitter all over myself. Okay, I'm gonna use, y'all know what I'm using, my Nambia and my, what you call it, the new Caledonia from i gotta rush y'all i'm rushing but i'm still gonna talk to y'all um a realistic goal for myself when i first was starting out is and you know what youtube has this analytics tab did i say that i don't know i think sometimes my brain don't be working uh, but they have like this analytics tag that you can go and see like how well your video is doing or what the engagement is all of that is listed on each video so you just have to click it and it'll give you all of that data and if you don't have a computer they do have it on your phone so you can see it there as well but when i was first starting out i was like if i could only just get one view i mean one subscriber i was good if i could get 300 views on one video i was good you know it didn't take much to please me but again i wasn't searching for the fame i was more so on the money like if i could get them if i could get two of y'all to sit through an entire video and watch it oh hell yeah that was gonna generate some money i was good i was good girl i didn't need too much it don't take much to please me you know so there was that and um i used to hate like the thing i used to hate when I um, first started is I'm happy it kind of died down now but people be like oh my goodness you should be so much bigger than than you are and it was like girl I am not trying to be bigger than what I am shit I am okay with this y'all don't understand I have social anxiety I think that y'all forget that I think because I be sitting in this room and I be talking girl anybody in here but just me I could just sit here and talk to myself as long as you don't answer yourself you're not crazy but I could sit here and have a full conversation with myself and then you get too many people watching me and I'll be like oh hell no because I feel like it's it's too much criticism it opens up the door like too many people too many eyes on me I, girl I ain't got time for that. Okay, so we didn't got the description. We didn't got the tags, the keywords. I think the other thing that has really helped me is my title. Once again, you do not want to clickbait people into um, clicking on this video, and it has nothing to do with the title. Like a lot of my type of titles are in regards to makeup because I do makeup. Of course, you guys get added bonuses by me talking in uh, videos, but for the majority, I do makeup. So I want whoever's going to click to understand you about to be watching a makeup tutorial. You may stay for the conversation, but just understand that this is a makeup tutorial at the end of the day. Okay, so I need you to understand that before you click on here because I don't want you to click on here and be like, bitch, I came for the talking and it kind of find out you was doing makeup. I need you to understand what the hell you're getting into. So don't clickbait people, okay? Oh, that's another thing. My goodness, it's another thing that I hate. Um, when choosing your keywords, please make sure that you are choosing keywords that pertain to you or to this damn video because I remember seeing this girl say she was dark skin. It said makeup for dark skin and her ass was just as a light and it was like, girl, stop doing it. Stop, stop doing it. I don't know what it is with the obsession about some light skinned people wanting to be fucking dark skinned, Drake included. But it's like, you, you, you are not dark skinned. You are not. And I think it pissed me off so bad because, girl, I was really trying to learn how to do my damn makeup from a fellow brown skinned woman. And here you are lying, talking about you brown skinned. No, you're not. No, you're not. Okay? And you can't tell me that that product is going to work for me because what appears very deep brown on y'all does not appear deep brown on me. Now, there are some products that, of course, we all share. Um, but as far as like specific colors, and I think I might have been looking for like a lip liner, a brown lip liner. And she was like, this is going to work for dark skin. Ma'am, ma'am, it looks extra dark on you. But when I put it on, it's going to be barely there. We're not the same. We're not the same. No, ma'am. Okay, so I have applied my concealer, which is Too Faced. Y'all know that. And then I also put on my Morphe uh, setting spray or whatever. And now we just going to blend this out. But another thing that I could totally tell y'all. Oh, my goodness. I'm just, I'm just talking. 
Um, but another thing is to find something that nobody else is doing. Like when I first started my YouTube channel, it wasn't because I knew how to do makeup or I felt like I could do makeup better than everybody else. No, I felt like it wasn't a lot of damn dark skinned women doing makeup on YouTube. Like, especially not as many as there are today. Like, I'm so happy for y'all. I'll be happy for folks. Um, even though like that's not my dream, it's not my goal. When you reach yours, I'll be so proud of you. I'll be like, yes, do what you do. You know, so happy for you. But that is why I freaking started because I was like, you know, it ain't a lot. And then I started talking and then this just became like a, a safe place for me. And we just, we just started vibing and I was like, okay, well, cool. Shit, we learning together, me and you. Shit, you don't know, I don't know. Shit, we here together. But initially I didn't think that I was going to have the followers that I do and I, I damn sure didn't feel like I was going to have other people outside of brown skin women following me, you know, and that's not to be rude or, or mean or anything. I just, I didn't think so. So a lot of my content was initially just catered to them until I found out like, oh, okay, we can't kind of interchange colors. Like even if you can't go as deep as me, as far as eyebrows or lipstick and stuff like that, the eyeshadow is definitely interchangeable. You just got to lighten up your browns. I have to go a deeper brown because I'm dark skin. You could go a lighter brown because you light. You know what I'm saying? We one and the same, but the technique is what you're learning. You know, you're learning the technique, but when I was looking um, on YouTube, like when I first started a couple years ago, when I first started, that was like the number one search term, makeup for brown skin. And at the time, I think we might have had Jackie and that was it. Because if you think about like the OG YouTubers from back in the day, who else did we have that was brown? I don't think it was a lot. It was just Jackie. All I can remember is Jackie because I know the twins. Was it Alyssa and the other lady? I wasn't really big on YouTube back in the day. We can't even specify as a, a Leah J really being brown. She she's I don't I don't feel like she's super dark. Nah, so we didn't have a Leah. I don't know anybody outside of Jackie. But again, I wasn't a super sit up on YouTube, watch YouTube all day. That wasn't my thing. But Jackie for sure is the only one that I know. Oh, I mean it's travel size, but they did give you a lot up in here, girl. I'm gonna take it. So this is the translucent setting powder by Laura Mercier. If y'all don't know, now you know, because I haven't re re-upped on it, but I absolutely love Laura Mercier setting powders. Oh, they're just they're phenomenal. So I'm gonna use this to set under my eyes. Anywhere that I highlight it, basically, I'm gonna go in and set with that. The other tip that I would give anybody who is starting out on YouTube, okay, the thing that I would tell you is to please do not go out here and spend all of this money on equipment unless you just got it like that. If you got it like that, then by all means, do what you do, boo. Let me not stop you. All I'm saying is I've spent a couple grand on some equipment and honestly, like the the quality of my damn iPhone better until I figured out how to work it. Unless you know how to work it, I don't go, go don't go right in and just purchase it, okay? Just hold off a little bit until you figure it out. Um, you also don't need it because I'll be seeing like the quality on these iPhones now. I still have an old iPhone. I don't have a new one. Girl, I try to lower my expenses as much as I can. But the, the quality on the the newer iPhones is amazing, okay? So if you just want to use your iPhone to record until you decide, if you ever decide that you want to upgrade your equipment, by all means, do that. I personally use the GBM lights. I told y'all that before. Um, they're like a $200 set of lights. Not sure if they're still 200 because I bought them probably like two years ago. Um, but that's, that's what I use. So there's that. They are in my Amazon storefront too. And the camera that I use, I haven't uploaded my Sony because my Canon broke. Canon broke soon as I started to get back in my groove. She fucking broke. So now I'm using my Sony ZV-E10. I will also link that in the Amazon storefront too. But I, I probably wouldn't even purchase a kit lens. I would probably purchase like additional lenses for it. Like right now I'm recording on a 50mm. Previously I was recording on a 30mm. 30mm, something about the quality I just don't be feeling versus my 50. So again, you'll learn this with 
time. Don't go out here and just spend a whole bunch of money. Take your time, girl. Right, I'm going in with my Sephora in the shade 80. I need to go back and get the shade 85 just to see what it's hitting on, okay? Just to say. But I'm going to use this just to kind of bronze up my skin real good and call it a day. But yeah, the me learning the equipment, I had to watch like several YouTube videos, y'all, because I didn't know shit about it. But I knew that whoever I clicked on, like if I clicked on, let's say, what's her name, uh, Jackie, or if I clicked, clicked on, what's the other girl that don't be on YouTube no more? can't remember she had a baby and... I cannot remember her name. My goodness. But I clicked on her. And if they said they was using these particular types of lenses and all this stuff, I would go out and freaking buy them. I can't tell you how many lenses. Like, y'all could probably see them behind me. Those lenses back there. All those different lenses, y'all. I went out and freaking purchased. Don't be like me. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because, girl, I didn't even have the money to do that. So, why I was trying to live like the rich and famous is beyond me. But that's what I was doing because I was like, I want to have the same type of quality and stuff. And then come to find out I did not have the same type of quality because, bitch, I didn't have the same type of lights as them or I didn't have the same type of setup as them. All of that takes time. Like, if I remove this light because I have a light right here, if I move this light over here, the quality in this video is going to change. If I remove this light, which is just like my vanity light, if I move that, the quality is going to change. So light placement is more important than anything. All right, this is the baking powder from makeup revolution it's in the shade banana y'all know y'all know i was talking to this creator i'm not using um like telling you what it is because i don't know and i don't want to be disrespectful like i don't know their pronouns so i just want to be respectful and kind of that but i was talking to them and they were telling me that they even use like this little ten dollar light from walmart to get they're high quality photos and i'm talking about like day photos a one like i love them makeup is always hitting just like gorgeous gorgeous and they were saying it's like yeah it's like because i'm always asking if y'all have ever <laughs> if you are a content creator you ever talk to me i always be in y'all business what your life setup look like <laughs> i be needed to know like what you be over there doing and so they told me they use that light. And I was just like, there's no way you're using this light. And they were like, no, I'm so serious. I use this light and it's really good. But the pictures I'm talking about, like high fashion, I think magazine worthy photos. Like I'd be obsessed. Like as soon as they post, I'd be like, do, do, do. I like your shit. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get finished. Because I told my son I would be ready to go. Hold on time. Because he, he is just waiting ever so patiently for me to come on. So I told him we're almost done. Almost done. I just threw on some jeans. I don't know if I should vlog today. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. This is a little bit of my 450 by Fenty. Um, the press powder that I'm going in and just kind of helping to blend out that uh, banana powder. I find that it just kind of still gives me like a highlighted under eye. But it helps to blend it out so it's not like casket sharp, if that makes sense. Um, I am taking a little bit of suggestions. Not a whole bunch, but a little bit of suggestions as far as what you guys would like to discuss. Because, girl, it is hard trying to figure out what the hell we're going to discuss in every damn video. Is this something that y'all want to know? I don't know. Um, I did add like a little bit of pink from this same car beauty palette. It's the sweetest treat palette. I added this pink right here to the inner corners just to kind of give me like a little bit of a pop. So there's that. And I also got like some um, some new lip colors or combos or whatever that we're going to be trying together as well. So yes, let's go. I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I mean, I was already supposed to be gone. My goal was to be out of here by two. And it is now, what time is it? It's 1.51, okay? So I got I got a little bit of time. A little bit. It feels like anytime I try to be on time for shit, I need to just stop being on time. Either that or get my ass ready a little bit earlier. Okay, so one of the first things that I got from Target, y'all know I love me some Target, and I had enough points that I only spent $4 on these products, but that's because I use my points. Um, and then I kind of dried out my lips as well because I'm noticing that the oils plus the pencils ain't really mixing. So you got to dry out your lips. I use a little bit of setting powder to do that. So yeah, um, this right here is the shade Espresso from NYX. And we're going to just line our lips. 
I'm gonna overline slightly because I don't have a, a big top lip that I would like. This is what I'd be talking about, trying to get browns that look good on us. Oh my goodness, this brown right here hit, no, it look brown. If you guys have made it here, make sure you guys subscribe. Let me know if there was anything that I missed that I didn't go over. I feel like for the most part though, those tips are definitely helpful, definitely would help me, so. I'm gonna use my Nubian sand because this is what I have here. And we all about using what you got. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the NYX and this is in the shade Butterscotch. I have been hearing things about this on TikTok, like all the brown skin girlies are talking about it. So I was like, why not try it? So, because I overlined, I am not bringing this all the way up because I feel like whenever it gets a little greasy, it makes the overline look crazy. So I'm not bringing it all the way up, just down here. Just to kind of mix and blend those colors in. Y'all know I'm all about layering gloss. I love me some layered gloss. Then I wanted to try the shade uh, Marshmallow, but they didn't have it. Somebody had opened up the last one they had. And I was like, girl, I don't know if you put that on your lips or not. I'm not doing that. So I had um, got the shade Eclair instead, and it's supposed to be super pink, but when I put it on, it's not. Like, it ain't real pink. Like, I would like. All right, guys, so here we are. This is the finished look. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I was supposed to be out of the door at 2. It is now 2.16, and yeah, I need to go. But um, overall, for my products, the Laura Mercier, like, I'm never going to steer you away from using Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier is the girl i will be using her until the end of time as far as the butterscotch i actually like the butterscotch and then the pink one which is the eclair i like this but i do wish that it was a little bit more pigmented to kind of give me more of a pink look if that makes sense like it's cute but i need a little bit more pink up in here I think this NYX brand of lip glosses, these little lip glosses, I haven't tried the other ones, but I feel like these brands are like really, really good. But like I said, I just wish that this was just like a little bit more pink, just a little bit more pigmentation to go with this. But other than that, I am completely fine. Um, what else did I try today? I think that was it, right? Just the, the primer and stuff. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, I gotta go, but I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time.